Presented by Caltech. Carl Larson is a retired marketing executive and philanthropist, as well as a passionate champion of Caltech. His knowledge of the Institute is profound, learned early as a houseboy for President Lee DuBridge, and manifestly expressed with a Caltech flag flying in front of his home for proper occasions. Most of all, Mr. Larson embodies an unwavering commitment to the values of Caltech and its mission to expand human knowledge. Mr. Larson's support for Caltech spans three decades. He served as a member of the Alumni Association Board, as president of the Caltech Associates, and as chair of the board for Caltech's Signature Surf Program. He and his wife Shirley established the Carl and Shirley Larson Provostio Chair, an endowment that provides discretionary funding from the pro for the provost to seize transformative opportunities in true Caltech fashion. After earning his bachelor's degree in 1952 in mechanical engineering from Caltech, Mr. Larson served in the US Air Force for four years. During his time in the military, he was stationed in Asia where he was responsible for predicting the weather for pilots taking to the skies in Korea, Japan, and Taiwan. In 1956, Mr. Larson joined Varian Associates, an electronics company in California, where he first worked as an engineer, then as a marketing specialist. In 1974, he continued his career in advertising and marketing at Versatech. Mr. Larson stayed with the company after it was bought by Xerox, retiring from his position as vice president in 1987. It is a great pleasure to recognize Mr. Carl Larson for his accomplished career in the electronics industry and his sustained commitment to the research, students, and alumni of Caltech. I am the oldest of the honorees today by at least 10 years, and uh, I feel every second of it. <laughs> when I came to Caltech, I thought I knew what I was going to do. I was going to be a chemical engineer. I was going to go out, get some experience, and then found my own company and be a, a very wealthy man making chemicals. But things changed. As a student, I was not the greatest student. And the picture I have in my mind is the bell curve. And I'm on the left side, <laughs> near the top, but slipping. <laughs> and uh, I've been slipping ever since. <laughs> uh, Caltech did not teach me how to go out and do anything in particular but it gave me the basic knowledge in physics and math and chemistry and the humanities, such that whatever I came up against uh, with a little bit of more training, which was usually a lot easier than going to school here, uh, <laughs> I was able to succeed in a number of different uh, roles. And the, <laughs> the biggest change and surprise to me was uh, graduating and ending up in the Far East uh, forecasting the weather. At the time, I saw the Air Force program, and they wanted uh, engineering and science students to enter it for a, years of, a year of meteorology and then three years of service. I did not know what meteorology was. I thought, what are the Air Force doing with meteors? <laughs> and I looked in the little dictionary, and it said weather. And I thought, well, that can't be too difficult. 
but let me tell you, dealing with weather is chaos. <laughs> and uh, Caltech, though, gave me this basic knowledge that I could uh, go into those fields and deal with it with a confidence I didn't really deserve. But anyhow, you think you're pretty hot when you get out of here <laughs> or survive and so on. So anyhow, <clears throat> the, if others have wondered why they have gotten this award, uh, I really wonder, and I don't know. <laughs> because my feelings for the Institute are so strong that what I have done, as far as I'm concerned, is just something that's obvious or natural. Anybody would do it in the same, with the same feelings. And so it is with sincere gratitude and a huge dose of humility that I move on. Thank you.